Dear Medicos, very good evening. We are having the honor to have Dr. Arpit with us, rank 36 in the last NEET examination. So, we, the whole DAMS family congrats you for this achievement. Thank you, sir. How you are feeling with after this great achievement? Uh, yes, sir. I uh, Actually, uh, to be honest, uh, I was... Uh, uh, very neutral with the reaction, sir, uh, because uh, I was expecting a uh, very high rank in INI set, but uh, as it is said that expectation leads to disappointment, uh, I didn't uh, get what I was expecting in INI set, so I learned a lesson from that, sir, and uh, this time uh, my part was just to uh, go through the revision correctly and give the exam and leave the rest, whatever the rank comes. Uh, I was not very much worrying about it. In the very first spell, in the very first few minutes, you have given the golden advice to the students. Ke, yeah, you should not have high expectation. You should give your best. And whatever result is there, we should enjoy. That's great. Great. So, so but can, Arpit, can you brief about your journey? Like when you started, from which college you are? So how this journey of PG preparation was there, Arpit? Yes, sir. Um, I belong to Karnataka Institute of Medical Sciences, Hubli. Uh, I am a 2018 uh, uh, batch medico and uh, this was my first uh, attempt in the internship, sir. Uh, till uh, uh, final year, my uh, uh, strategy was just to pass the prof exams and uh, have a good uh, theoretical uh, uh, knowledge about the fact. and in final year uh, prof following the distinction in it i was gifted uh, uh, dams uh, uh, app and uh, regular coaching uh, classes so then uh, in internship i uh, started preparing uh, with respect to the neat pg and ini set exam sir i used to the q bank modules and uh, then give gts uh, on a regular basis and uh, analyze uh, those questions my day used to start with the regular uh, the daily quiz which consists of uh, five mcqs or at times uh, subject based questions for 25 mcqs i used to uh, solve as soon as i get up and um, i used to go through the explanation sir uh, on a long run this five questions 25 questions will be much more important and uh, uh, especially the image based questions sir as this uh, exam was much of a image based questions so uh, the pictorial memory which builds up will come handy in the main exams that is what i believe yes but I, a bit in the very first attempt you managed to get rank 36 that's a big achievement and the paper was on the difficult side. Can you share like what was the strategy you follow? Like you are telling me you have joined DAMS in final year. So in final yes, year sir. in the internship, you use these two yes, years sir. to get this rank of 36. What was the strategy? Beta? How you follow all the classes of DAMS? How you follow all the notes? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the special feature of uh, DAMS work, uh, notes is uh, I would like to mention about the workbook and the concept book, sir. Uh, this helps in building the uh, pictorial memory, sir. That's what uh, I... Um, analyzed it if we like if we are reading some 50 pages or 100 pages we tend to forget sir but if we are uh, using the concepts of workbook and if we are uh, like uh, doing the filling the blanks uh, or uh, uh, completing the notes it will uh, be useful as a muscle memory sir and uh, the uh, pictures of especially the dermatology and uh, minor subjects uh, add, uh, goes on adding up in your subconscious memory and it, it will be a very useful thing uh, when we come across the image based questions sir. and uh, gt uh, giving gt on a regular basis is a very important thing sir because uh, it uh, it uh, accustoms is by that we get accustomized to the uh, three hours what uh, we face in the exam and uh, on a regular basis if we give the gts in final exam it, it uh, appears it is just another gt sir so the fear of examination is gone uh, that is one factor sir and uh, when we have done so many gts that we have come across so many questions that in uh, the main exam that uh, the questions tend to be like uh, we, we have seen it somewhere or the other and the uh, the hidden fact in the subconscious memory memory automatically uh, tends us to towards the, takes us towards the answers. That's what uh, I be. Yes, Vida, that's great, great, great advice you are sharing with all the students. I'll be asking you a few questions. Like you have to yes. choose one. Here you will not be having four options, only two options. And you choose your yes. 
you have priority like workbooks against photocopy of the notes which is better uh workbooks classroom learning against online learning better um online learning sir as uh, it, like it, we can access it from anywhere in our internship if, if we are having minor posting we can access it through there itself sir so it has been an advantage basic sciences against beta final year subjects whom the juniors should give more priority considering the new pattern the current pattern of neat exam uh, as uh, as for neat exam sir i would uh, like to say that uh, final year uh, subjects obviously have more weighted sir uh, uh, and it appeared to be so in this exam as well but when it comes to ini set uh, i would like to uh, suggest that the focus should be more on the first and second year subjects Let's take beta. Now coming on the pattern beta. How like how was that MCQs? What was the level of the MCQs? You appear for the morning or evening session beta? Evening session, second shift sir. So how was the paper beta? On difficulty level, where you will read the paper and how you compare that paper with the grand test of times? Uh, like uh, it, it appeared to be just like another uh, grand test, sir. I, I came to know about the difficulty when uh, I uh, I came outside and I saw some WhatsApp or YouTube polls, sir. There, almost everyone was rating the second shift to be moderate or uh, tough, but I did not find it very uh, tough, sir. It was it it just appeared uh, like an uh, another grand test, and I would like to rate it on a uh, like uh, some uh, thirty to forty percent difficulty scale, sir. So when I saw that poll, majority of the people are voting it as a difficult paper, and I uh, I was uh, easily solving the questions. In I attempted all two hundred questions, sir. In that I could solve some uh, one seventy five to one eighty questions on a very first go first read, sir. In uh, some twenty questions, I got stuck, and uh, I had to uh, reanalyze the in between two options, rule out other two options. Uh, those uh, things happened uh, in only twenty to twenty five questions, sir. So when I come up, I came across. This situation, I thought that uh, I have done re uh, reasonably well uh, considering the scenario. That's great, Bida. You you played the game very aggressively. You attempt all the two hundred MCQs. Now, Bida, yeah. coming on the strategy, like final year, you concentrate on the final year subjects. In the internship, mm -hmm. what was your strategy, Bida? Like at the beginning, like say my internship is going to be there. I am my my internship is just started. What should be the strategy for those students who are preparing for next year? Yes, sir. Like uh, uh, in again in internships, sir, we we come across uh, some major postings and minor postings. So we cannot have a one particular strict schedule uh, where we can uh, regularly work only in those particular days. So considering that posting in which you are there, like example, if we are posted in periphery in community medicine, uh, it will be a uh, uh, easy posting, sir. So I would like to suggest that in such postings we can solve the Q bank modules and uh, can. Uh, make some uh, uh, sticky notes or uh, some uh, notes in the small book which uh, later we can revise easily sir and uh, solving mini tests and uh, a set of 20 questions in the time which we get in minor posting is uh, very useful sir in major posting uh, there will be a bit of a hectic schedule so if you can make time out of it it will be very easy to revise the things which you have done in minor postings that's uh, what i would like to say sir. And we are coming on the like integrated MCQs. What advice you will give to the juniors? Better? Like I, many of these students are very are feeling uncomfortable in the integrated question of medicine surgery. What will your advice be in that spell? Yes, um, like uh, when we initially uh, start solving some modules after the videos, we tend to get uh, uh, the things wrong, sir. But it is the time where we learn so uh, like in uh, normal modules or uh, gts if we are getting uh, questions wrong and we are not getting a, a good rank it's totally fine sir because uh, our aim is to get maximum question right in the final need pg rather than getting a very good rank in gts uh, whatever mistakes are there we should all do it and finish it in the gts and regular uh, uh, q bank modules so that we don't repeat those mistakes again so uh, our approach should not to be to uh, like uh, reduce the mistakes but to do as many mistakes as possible and uh, learn from that and make sure that we don't repeat such mistakes in the main exam sir 
and mcqs uh, integrated approach is uh, uh, must uh, required uh, sir as uh, compared to the previous neat papers this neat paper was uh, very much uh, based on the integrated approach sir so when we are uh, doing image based questions and uh, uh, if we are also preparing uh, simultaneously for the ini set exam which uh, will be around the uh, neat exam only sir so by that we will be having strong base in first and second year subjects and uh, in neat preparation we will be having a good base in uh, third and uh, uh, final year subjects sir so it becomes uh, very easy uh, to solve the questions when we are uh, like trying to crack both the exams that's very great you are sharing all the important points which all the juniors they should keep in mind now coming on the rule of class notes beta dams class notes in this rank of 36 yes sir uh, class notes uh, are, have played an important role because uh, like uh, from small age uh, we are taught to uh, write while we are reading sir and this uh, like it it uh, gives us a muscle memory and uh, the things uh, gets into our head subconsciously and uh, it uh, helps uh, so i i would uh, like to say that make the notes as many uh, as much as possible and uh, to revise those things again and again rather than learning new things in the ends how many time revision beta how many time you revise the notes uh, uh, for ini set i uh, revised once sir um, uh, focusing mainly on first and second year uh, subjects and again uh, before neat pg i revised it once again uh, but this time the more weightage was given for the third and uh, final year subjects the role of dvt beta you appear for dvt what was the role of that dvt in this rank of 36 uh, yes, sir. DVT had played a significant role, and the PYQ cup up session, uh, like those PYQ and PYTs, they are uh, never to be neglected, sir. Some like some people are claiming that the PYQ didn't uh, help as much in this exam, but I would say not just uh, three or four year previous year questions, but if you had solved some seven or eight PYQs, uh, irrespective of AIMS or uh, need PG pattern, uh, surely. I think, sir, uh, around 140 to 150 questions, surely uh, either the direct question or some concept revol revolving around the topic, we will get get that. And some uh, remaining 50 questions, uh, some integrated approach and some logical reasoning will uh, take us to solve those 50 questions. Sir. PYQs are uh, undoubtedly the cornerstone of uh, this type of exams. Very true, Vera, very true. Because the previous year topics which were there, but I feel as if faculty that all the questions were there from the PYT's mm -hmm. previous year topic, but they were asked, they were asking the topics in an integrated way. That was the yes. make, that make the paper difficult actually. Otherwise, yes, the topics sir. were same, the questions were same, but they were asked in an integrated way. But yes, what was the yes. role of CBT in your success journey? Yes, sir. Uh, the CBT played a significant role, sir. As uh, I was a uh, intern preparing for it, and uh, the uh, notes. Uh, the notes, the clinical books, which I had uh, uh, for this uh, session, sir. So going through that again and again will boost your confidence, sir. In it, it is like a confidence boost. At the last, bit, any special message for your family because of whom you are here? Uh, it is because of my mother, sir, that I would like to tribute uh, this rank to her. Uh, unfortunately, I lost her in the... Uh, second year um, MBBS sir, during COVID time, oh, COVID but uh, she she was the one who motivated me to uh, get the MBBS seat, and uh, like uh, her life uh, inspired me to justify what the position I have got. Like we see, there are so many aspirants who work equally hard or even much more harder than us, but the destiny has given me one platform or a one opportunity. So justifying it by my uh, hard work becomes my duties that's yes and we we uh just very sorry to hear these things beta and we congrats you your family for this awesome achievement and i dedicate this rank of 36 to your mother beta best wishes for your future and now beta at last any special message for the dams faculty uh, I would like to say thanks to all the faculty, sir, and especially uh, the Bangalore branch uh, who gifted me the dams uh, 
on the basis of my final year prof distinction uh, uh, mr uh, nagaraju and mr muniraj sir i would like to take their names because uh, they were the one like who encouraged to use me the platform of tams and, and uh, i would like to uh, like share one interaction uh, which i had with uh, dr sanjeev chitragar sir when he was uh, visiting uh, uh, kim subli sir he he narrated his anecdote that uh, when he was in mysore medical college uh, a guy who came to their college asked that uh, how many of you believe that you people can make into like top 100 ranks or go to aims uh, many of them due to hesitation that what others would think of or what my friends uh, will think later if i raise my hand they did not uh, express themselves but, but sir uh, raised his hand confidently and he said that uh, 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 like i will make my efforts to get into it and finally he secured the ct names that uh, con- that is a uh, like narration gave me the uh, thought process that to believe in oneself irrespective of what other things because ultimately uh, you are the one who has to push yourself sir. so self belief is uh, the very primary thing which a uh, any aspirant should have sir irrespective of the results this self belief uh, keeps us uh, going forward sir. so self belief is the must which we should have thanks dr arpit and it is a honor to have discussion with you on this platform we again congratulate you for this rank of 36 best wishes and thanks for sharing all the strategies with thank you thank you thank you sir.